No, not one picture of the earth. Imagine that. 2016, and we still don't have a picture of our home. Thousands of satellites supposedly orbiting the earth. Why can't we get thousands of pictures? One shot with the whole earth in it. Hell, we should have a channel on cable that shows the earth rotating 24 hours a day, every day. Nope. Let's listen to NASA's very own Robert Simmons talk about how we get our fake pictures of Earth. In 1972, we saw our home in a new way. Apollo 17 astronauts snapped this picture. It gave people the first look at their home planet as a single entity. Last week, scientists at NASA released this. The shot is compiled from data from NASA's VIRS instrument, which orbits the Earth about every 100 minutes, taking measurements of light coming off the planet. That can be translated into ribbons of imagery like this, and then into one of these. And this is just the latest in NASA's Earth from Space album, which may be one of the most mind-expanding collections of images in human history. Then in 2002, Blue Marble 2.0, NASA's Rob Simmon made this. Simmons' job is... It's primarily taking data and making pictures out of it. That's what this is. A composite of data sets from several different instruments translated into a picture. So we actually had to take clouds out. They stashed the clouds for later, went onto the ocean. That came from an instrument that measures phytoplankton in the sea. Where it was low, I colored it dark blue because they're low mostly in mid-oceans. And then where it was a little bit higher, it was like a little bit brighter green. Then add the clouds back in... There's a small problem with it because there's a very slight gap in between each orbit. So some of those are painted on. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. Then? There was another layer to sort of simulate the atmosphere. And then there's this little bright spot. It's called the specular highlight. So it's the reflection of sunlight off of water. Those are the pieces, but you can't just slap them all together. It just didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat, or the clouds are sort of too see-through. So I just take Command Z a lot. There's artistry to creating the world. What I imagine it to be. Um, Unfortunately, I'm not an astronaut. (laughs) I've never been to space. But I've looked at these images over and over again, trying to sort of get the essence of it. It is photoshopped, but it's, it's, has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's, it's, has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's, it's, has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's, it's, has to be. 